reports. Man, all those Dodger fans who, once Major League Baseball free agency started, Dodger fans were like, man, we're not doing anything. Yeah. All these teams are signing these guys and getting their teams like better and bigger and stronger and adding all-stars for next year. The Dodgers are doing nothing. The Dodgers waited for just one day to ex ex explode, and I think they got better than everybody else on one single day. Wow. You're right. They went from nothing to like getting nobody to getting like the guy. Yeah. Mookie Betts. I mean, a lot of people think this is the piece that's going to send them all the way to the promised land. I've heard from a couple uh, so-called baseball experts that the Dodgers are, <laughs> are setting, as good as they've been the last couple of years, which includes a couple trips to the World Series, the Dodgers are setting themselves up to be the best team for the next decade. Yeah. Wow. That's what, I, because there's a lot of young guys, homegrown guys too, from former Rancho Cucamonga Quakes, guys that are coming up through the system. You add guys like Mookie Betts, who's not really that old. I think he's what, 28 maybe? Only could be true wow. in baseball, where basically they can spend whatever. Right. Yes. And in that. Football, you wouldn't be able to pay these guys, and they'd be gone. Yeah. Baseball, again, if, if you have a. Baseball money, as they say. If right, you, hey, you've got two sons. Uh, make sure they play baseball, yes. and if you've got a lefty, that's even better. So. Right. Pitchers and quarterbacks, kids. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Man, that's where the money's at. Yeah. So we'll go more to these Dodger moves. Uh, we got some Laker news as well, and uh, some football talk okay. uh, on this Thursday. It's all brought to you by Matheson Gas. They are the gas professionals. So the next time you need to refill that propane tank, you need some gas for your home, your backyard, your business, you go to Matheson Gas. They've got all your gas supplies. They've got welding supplies. Soon enough, They'll have cooling supplies if you work outside or in a warehouse. That's MathisonGas.com on the World Wide Web. And again, three locations across the Inland Empire, Fontana, Rancho Cucamonga, and Riverside. So if you need gas, three spots to hook it all the way up. That's Matheson Gas, the gas professional. So Mookie Betts traded from the Red Sox to the Dodgers. And don't forget, David Price, big-time yeah. starting pitcher, also part of that trade from Boston to the Dodgers. Right. I don't care if it's not the same David Price. Hey, Angels, take notes. Get pitching. Yes. <laughs> Why won't they get pitching? I don't know. Ugh. The Angels got a great lineup, right? Yes. From one through nine in the in the lineup, but yes. they're starting pitching. That's where the the you know the the holes in the armor are right now for the you're, Angels. You're right, though. David Price is also a, a big deal. I yes. Verlander was kind of in that same little thing. He got a little rebirth with Houston. I could see David Price kind of doing the same thing with the Dodgers. David Price was. Dominant. Slinging it. He might not be as good as he once was, but you make a great point with Justin Verlander. Verlander yeah. kind of hit like he a... He was done. He kind of hit a valley, and then he popped right back up with the Houston Astros. So he, David Price could very well do that with the Dodgers. Good move, I say. Same day. The Dodgers also made a move to send Jock Peterson, one of the outfielders, pretty good outfielder. Pretty good. To the Angels he's for Luis Renihifo. He's never... So now Jock Peterson is on the Angels. He's never really yes. come to fruition, I believe. No, I mean, he came up in a, in a, there was a string of guys. I think it was Jock Peterson, Corey Seager was one of those guys, Austin Barnes. They all kind of came up at the same time, and they all had these mega expectations on him. And Jock, young Jock was supposed to be, like, the next superstar. He was good, but he was never, like, an all-star. Now, already back in the day, when you went from the Dodgers to the Angels, it's like where you go to retire. Ah. That's, like, kind of the old man move. It's like yeah. WCW in the <laughs> wheelchair wrestling. It's Ho like that. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And <laughs> yeah, but, too, but that's cool. They got a bat. But, again, they have to get pitching. Yes, they need pitching. Uh, we'll they, see. They still got time. I, I don't know if this was confirmed or not, but the Dodgers were trying to send Ross Stripling to the Angels. Oh. So that's okay. something. something. Yeah, exactly. Something. That That's something. That's all I ask. And 40s over here, like, is that enough baseball yeah, talk? I mean, like, are we done? I'm just like, I've done parlays and teasers. I don't know what a Mookie bets. <laughs> what a Mookie I'll, bets? I'll place one, I guess. <laughs> I'll place a Mookie bets. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> one quick baseball note, because it hits home. This kind of went under the radar, um, obviously, with the tragedy of Kobe Bryant and the Super Bowl. But um, Riverside's own Dusty Baker was named the new manager of the Houston Astros. Nice. So right. Dusty Baker, a Riverside guy, went to Riverside Poly and all that. So... See if he can clean things up, I guess you could See say, with the astronauts. Uh, get those trash, trash cans, cans out of there, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's old school, right? So yeah. he probably doesn't do any of that, I think, right? Bring an IE guy to clean yeah. it up. He'll clean it up for you. Uh, the NBA trade deadline is today. Will the Lakers or the Clippers get themselves better, make a trade today? The name that keeps popping up for both of these teams right now, 
um, is for the Lakers, and that's Kyle Kuzma. And it sounds like they're, they've been trying to get rid of him for a while. The Kuz, man. I, mean, I remember the suit at the draft. I mean, he was representing the Lakers. Yeah, ever since the hair change, though, I'm good with getting rid of Kuz. So he's gone. He's different. I mean, it looks like it looks like they have Pete Davidson on the team. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that at all. Are they saying what they want to bring in, what they're Something. trying to get a hold of? To be honest, like when you look at the Lakers roster, what do they need? Probably just more depth, I guess. I, that's what I get. Like, more you, depth. I, I mean, mean, they're built to win, right? They're I mean, built to win right now. Have you noticed though, when LeBron's not in the game, it seems like they have a little bit of trouble, other than lobbing it into AD. Yes. I feel like they need one other option so LeBron can sit down for a couple minutes and catch a couple breaths. Somebody has to like take over the scoring. There's no one really to do that other than lob it into AD, which I understand. But so they're just going to lock down AD when LeBron's not in the game, and yeah. the, the Lakers are going to get beat because of that. They need a guy like the, like the Clippers have, like Lou Williams. Right. Lou, Lou Williams comes, sweet Lou comes off the bench. All right. Dude, that guy's instant offense. They need someone like that. And Kyle Kuzma probably should have been that guy. Yeah. I just feel like he's probably not a good fit for what they have. Like, is he a good player? Yeah, he's probably a good player, I guess. But he probably doesn't fit to what their identity, You're what they're right. trying and to do. He is a good enough player to where he's worth something. Yes. Right. That's good. I feel like the Laker fans of the time, like when they drafted Ball first and then they got Kuzma second, it was like, well, let's just really hype up Kuzma since Ball's not yeah. working out. Too and Kuzma well. was good, and people were like, yeah, man, uh, Kyle right. Kuzma w was the, the better of the two players that right. they drafted. Maybe it's like 40 said, because of Ball, it made Kuzma look think, better than he really was. I think Kuzma got a little overhyped, uh -huh. is what I'm saying. I read you. And then Brandon Ingram, who used to be a Laker, now with the Pelicans, he's an all star this year. Like, he's been having a big year. I'm like, huh? Good like <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, he dropped forty one the other night or whatever. Yeah. He was dominating. I don't so, even think his legs cast a shadow. I don't know. <laughs> I know, like he is yeah, he was I mean toothpick legs. Yeah. The time. When I saw him like in person, I'm like, how is he standing on that? he's like, sweep the leg. He needs Dude. to go to some buffets and just go for it. Uh but yeah, maybe the Lakers should have kept Ingram and got rid of Kuzma, but yeah. I don't know. That's that's hindsight, that's man. Ball. Yeah, so that's hard to say. But the trade deadline is today. We'll see what the Lakers and Clippers do. And finally, if you're a football fan and you need football in your life yes. this week, uh, with the NFL season over and free agency having not started yet for the NFL, we have the XFL. And bonus right. points to either of you if you can uh, tell me who your Los Angeles Wildcats will be opening up the season with this weekend. It's in Texas, isn't it? It's it's Houston. It is. Yeah. It's the Amarillo. What are they called? The Amarillo. What are they? I'm not, the Armadillos, or I don't know. I wish they were. Like uh, they the should be. Texas. Yeah, they're the, like the Banditos or something like that. The, I can't remember. Yeah. We cheated a I little bit. We up. actually we got to talk to one of the uh, the LA Wildcats who's from out here in Riverside. Yes. Will Smith. Riverside. Our, oh, Will Smith. Notre Dame High School. Will yes. Smith. Yes. So we we'll talked to him tomorrow. We're talking to him. Oh, he's a stud. Our very own pet. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Local Riverside guy. In fact, I think there might be more than one on the LA Wildcats, but Will Smith was a big deal at Notre Dame High School. I think he played at Texas Tech. Yep. He had a cup of coffee in the NFL. That's awesome. Yeah, I was with the Cowboys for a little bit. Yeah, now he's with the LA Wildcats, and we talk to him tomorrow because the season kicks off this weekend. Look at us give a little local angle. That's not used to me. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, I'm out to get your stuff. Look at the big brain on you guys. Inland Sports, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We've got a YouTube channel as well. Hit, please hit that subscribe button for us. Thanks. Inland Sports.